So let's talk about the Avada sidebar, how to set it up, how to style it, the different functionality that, that is available, and all of that good stuff. So let's just jump right in. Um, first of all, in order to set up a sidebar, you have to have a sidebar widget already created. So if you go into the back end of WordPress uh, and you go to Appearance, Widgets, then we have this one here, side uh, Blog Sidebar, which is where we have these uh, image or these uh, widgets that you're seeing here. So this is the search widget, and then we have a navigation widget right here. So we need this in order for something to display on this page. So once we have the actual sidebar set up, which if you don't see this here, you can always add a new widget area and just name it blog sidebar or page sidebar or product sidebar. Say you have a e-commerce website and you want a sidebar just for product pages, you could have a product sidebar. Uh, so go ahead and create the widget area, add in whatever elements you see fit for your sidebar. Uh, you just drag and drop from over here and then fill it out, save it. And then from there, you will need to, there's a couple ways you can do it. So the way I'm doing it here, I don't want to have a sidebar on these main pages. Uh, for example, I just want to have the sidebar on this example page. So to do that, I just open this uh, page here and edit it by clicking edit page and from there um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom there are the Avada page options right here and this this option sidebars is going to give you the functionality for the sidebar on this specific page individually so you can see here I have it set, um, I think traditionally, or out of the box, it's set to default. Everything's usually set to default. And basically what that means is if you change the sidebar uh, global features or global settings, then it will also update on uh, all of the pages that are set to default. So default just essentially means global. So in this case, I just switched this one to blog, but if you have it set to default, um, and you, you know, set up the blog sidebar. So if you come over to Avada options and you come to sidebar, you can set, so say you want a, a global sidebar for every page. So you can set it globally, right? So see how it says none right here? And when we have it set to default, it says none. So it's essentially pulling in this value from here. Right. We'll, we'll get back to this in a second, but uh, once we have this set up here as the blog sidebar, then uh, you can just update the page here, and then your sidebar will start showing uh, right here. And of course, you got to choose which sidebar you want. So like I was saying, you could have a product sidebar on some pages and others on others right okay so we have our sidebar here now let's look at some of the styling and configuration options so you can also select second sidebar not necessarily something I would suggest but um, the first sidebar you can choose where you want it uh, most most common is left or right I guess those are your two options <laughs> it is a sidebar right that's silly um, but <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is it kind of just depends on which side you want it on. Um, E-commerce, a lot of times you'll see it on the left-hand side. Blogs, a lot of times it's on the right-hand side. Uh, it really depends on, you know, people read from left to right. So for a blog, the most important thing is for people to read the blog. For e-commerce site, it might be more important that people find the product that they're looking for, right? So having a sidebar on the left side with navigation might be better for e-commerce, but that decision is up to you to choose which side. Um, and then responsive sidebar order. So you can choose how you want um, things to stack up when it's mobile. So for instance, if we duplicate this page so you can see what I'm talking about here. So when we shrink this to a mobile device size, maybe if I can grab this, it goes content, so like the page content. So the sidebar drops down below the content down here at the bottom, right? And 
then if so it goes content sidebar one then sidebar two so say you wanted to stack differently you wanted it to go sidebar one then content then sidebar two that's just how it's going to stack when it's on a mobile device uh, you can also set sticky sidebar so as you scroll down you can see that this sidebar disappears off the page so you can have it set to where well we can just set this right now um, sidebar one I'll show you what this looks like so essentially it's just sticky so it's going to stay here no matter how far down we scroll past the bottom it's just going to continue to show up which is nice so like this page is long but maybe we still want people to see that sidebar so see how it's stuck here now so kind of a cool feature where that sidebar can travel down the page with people so there is that option there and then the sidebar background color so you can see that we have this light gray you can just change that right here to whichever color you choose so that's the individual page sidebar settings and then there's as I was alluding to earlier there are the global sidebar settings so if you come back to Avada options sidebars uh, you have all sorts of options in here and it's sort of separated by where the sidebar is showing so whether it's on a page a portfolio a blog post a search page etc so the sidebar styling so globally a lot of these are going to be the same as what we were just looking at but you can set this order globally or how it's uh, showing up on a responsive uh, basically a mobile device you can set it to be a sticky sidebar um, you can choose the sidebar padding so that's going to be this distance here between the text and the actual edge of the sidebar and then background color we already talked about um, <clears throat> there's a way to do a heading background color so you could actually have just this heading have a background color but everything else be white which actually looks pretty good I use that pretty often so definitely test that feature out and then the widget font size this is pretty helpful so when we set this it's going to sh uh, set this font size here originally it's set to 18 but that's a little bit small so if we go ahead and save this then we'll see this text is going to get a little bit bigger here and we want those headlines to be sizable so it stands out and catches people's attention right so whoops Let's go to uh, sidebar widget headings color so that's going to be this actual title here right so you can adjust that as needed um, and then we were just on pages so you can set the the uh, actual sidebar that you want to set so this is global so if you turn this on so force global si uh, sidebars for pages if you turn that on it's going to turn on the sidebar settings for every page on your site so just know that and then you can choose again which side you want it to appear on uh, and then you're gonna have that same option for portfolio posts blog posts and the search page so you essentially get to choose how you want the sidebar to show up on these different pages which is good because a, a page sidebar is going to be different than a sidebar on a portfolio and same with blogs and so on and so forth right uh, and then there's uh, also going to be the same settings but um, just got to watch out for these uh, archives so an archive page is going to be like in the blog it's going to be like a category page so if you have a blog blog category for this lawn care business maybe it's um, uh, thatching for instance or cleanup or weed control uh, you know you might have these different categories each of those category pages is considered an archive and so you can actually have a different sidebar on those archive pages as on the actual blog post page so that's pretty much it when it comes to the Avada sidebar if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of the sidebar or functionality or anything don't hesitate to reach out you can just drop your questions in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there and until next time, take care.